What is going on my friends? Christine Moore here and I'm coming to you from my son's bedroom and it is day or day four day four of the 77 day video challenge. So welcome. I have a good one for you today. So I put on my baseball mom gear and uh, I wanted to teach you a lesson or really teach you or tell you about what I have learned from the game of baseball. And I will be totally, completely honest. <laughs> I don't know the game of baseball. I mean, yes, I've learned quite a bit because my kids have been playing for quite a long time, but I don't know baseball, but I do know mindset. And so I wanted to go over uh, something that I have seen over and over and over again at all the games and all the tournaments that I've been to. So many kids, so many of them, they're so sweet and precious and they just get so down and they base their confidence on their performance. So, you know, they might have a good day and their confidence is great, but then, you know, most of the time in baseball, you don't play that well and you, and you, and you, there's so many failures, right? And I see these kids basing who they are on their performance and baseball, number one, you have to understand baseball is a game of failure. That's what I've learned. That was the first lesson I've learned. Number two, it is the most self-esteem destroying sport in the world <sighs> yes and if you can hit three balls out of ten you're amazing like you are phenomenal that's great and so that means on a great day you failed seven times let that sink in for a second on a good day, if you hit three out of 10, you are amazing, but that still means you failed seven times. <sighs> so I have uh, someone that I've been following and listening to podcasts just to help me understand baseball and kind of, you know, just to be able to help my sons with the whole mindset part of it. And he says the worst trap that you can get into with baseball is focusing on your stats and he also says, you got to play like it's opening day. Opening day, you don't have anything to compare that to because it's opening day, right? So you don't have yesterday's mistakes to like really, you know, be thinking about and, and keeping you stuck in your head. So play every day like it's opening day. And of course, always have fun, right? And so I just want to show you real quick. This is my son's room. So he started when he was five and he's 14 now. And so these are just, you know, some of the rings and the trophies. These all represent tournaments that they've won or came in second place. These are like all his home run balls over here that he likes to collect. So I just wanted to show you that, but <laughs> I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because even though there's a ton of rings and trophies, let me tell you, the really horrible days and tournaments that didn't go their way, it's like five times that amount, okay? And so maybe you, maybe you're not a baseball player, but maybe you have a dream or a goal and something that you have been wanting to do, but you are letting the failure from your past kind of keep you stuck and define who you are as a person. And I'm telling you right now, who you are is not what you do, okay? So like my sons, their identity is not baseball. Baseball is just something they do. And so, I wanted to also say this. Don't let past don't let don't let past failures keep you stuck. When you fail, 
okay? When you fail, because you will, we are, we're all human, we're all going to fail. <sighs> when you fail, that's when you figure out a way to not do something. And it's also a way, um, I love to use the example of Thomas Edison, right? He failed a thousand times, a thousand times. I would have probably given up after mm, 50, 60, <laughs> like maybe this is just not for me, but a thousand times before he was successful. And then yesterday, I, I, I mean, I knew about Abraham Lincoln and, and how he, he had uh, just a really, uh, he had a life full of adversity, but I didn't realize just how much. So definitely go and Google Abraham Lincoln or read a book about Abraham Lincoln and the perseverance that it took for him to get to where he finally was as president of the United States. And so I want to end today with a quote. And it that is, every, or every day is a new day. Just start again. I'll say that again. Every day is a new day to start again. And as Steve Springer says in this podcast, you got to play like it's opening day and have fun. Don't get in the trap of the stats and the failures, right? Every day is a new day to begin again. And of course, let me just show you what I ha my son has on his wall here. Hopefully it's not backwards. Oh, I think it is. But it says sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, right? So I hope that this was a blessing. And thank you so much for checking out. Day four is in the books. Now I got to go write 20 minutes uh, for my book. So definitely give this a like, comment, because I need it for this video to be pushed out so more people can see it because the goal is to share hope. To share hope and let people know that they can do it too. All right, guys. God bless. See you in the next video.